Today, I'm going to be checking out the Sub-Zero and Scorpion Mortal Kombat action figures from McFarlane Toys. Mortal Kombat is my favorite video game franchise, and Spawn is actually my favorite superhero. So having McFarlane Toys create figures of my favorite video game is an absolute dream come true for me. I want to give a big shout out to Imports Dragon for supplying these action figures for me today. These figures are from Mortal Kombat 11, the latest entry in the series. In front of me I have the original Sub-Zero and Scorpion, as well as their alternate costumes. Now let's jump in and check these out. I'm going to be opening the two Sub-Zeros first, and then the two Scorpions. Look at that back there. Oh, that's a, that's a really, really nice background. Look at that. How do you guys unbox toys first? Do you go accessories first? Do you go action figure first? Bust out of there, buddy. Oh, there you go. Fatality, wow. Holy, it feels so good. I'm actually so floored right now. Just literally me picking it out of the box. It feels good. It feels like a good quality toy. One of the best accessories ever. The neck and skull. <laughs> so cool. Here you go, Gimli. Look at that. Oh, Sub-Zero. He looks so cool. I love all the little daggers he comes with. Well, they don't come out. Put him aside. Sub-Zero. Next up, Sub-Zero number two. Boom, he's just straight up ice. Put the skull in the hand, axe in hand. Scorpion, the original Scorpion. I can already tell I'm gonna be loving this toy. Wow, oh man, how awesome does that look? I'm, I'm going crazy right now. This is a sick toy. I love the feeling of putting swords in the sheaths of my action figures. I don't wanna break the chain, so I'm gonna do it the safe way. I'm gonna wrap it through here, wrap it around his arm, there we go. So yeah, we can make him hold the chain, just like that. Oh, that looks so cool. Last but not least. Oh, whoa. This looks awesome. This is a nice, nice skin for him. Okay, there we go. So sick. Look at that. Let's give this scorpion a sword. Mm. Okay, dagger it is. That sword is really, really jammed in there. All right, let's check out the sculpts on all these. And like I said earlier, we're going to start with Sub-Zero. They're virtually the same, I would assume. So for sake of time, I am actually just going to be focusing on the one figure. So let's take a look at Sub-Zero. All right, now let's look at the sculpt here. Now, as you can see, it is very, very detailed, as you would expect from a McFarlane toy action figure, especially in Mortal Kombat. But this is, this is phenomenal. The detail. Look at the detail just on the legs themselves. They look amazing back there. The little daggers right here. The detail, even in the clothing. How, how close can we get this? Look at that detail. Beautiful sculpt. Now the fabric down here, it is pretty, pretty soft plastic, which is really, really nice. It's not fabric and it doesn't feel like it's gonna rip at all. Same with the bandana up top. Doesn't feel like it's gonna break off. The weapons actually feel really nice as well which is uh, very, very convenient. Nothing's worse than like delicate weapons that will break. I'm always concerned putting items into figures' hands, but you know, you never know when you could just accidentally snap it, especially Scorpion's spear. Okay, so the sculpt looks nice. I love all the daggers, all the little details, all the fine little ribbon and wraps around the daggers here. Just everything, the buckles, everything is there. Exact. He looks exactly like he does in the game. The Lin Kuei symbol on his arm. Let's talk about his face. Can we just look at his face here? Look how nice that looks. Very detailed. The paint job is phenomenal. We'll, we'll talk about the paint job too here. That goes in with the detail. You know, you can see the pupil, you can see the scar above his eye. Just really, really cool. You won't be able to see the scar on this one probably, on the, on the other alternate costume, but you can see the scar there, it looks really good. The face mask itself looks really nice, really detailed. The muscles on his arm are really, really 
really nice. Kind of looks like those wrestling action figures. Like they just, they look really good, really rugged, durable. Like you can actually play and just bash them around. Though I wouldn't because these are not toys. These are collectible action figurines. He is all blue. So they nailed that. The shin pads are really nicely done as well. You can see all the little rivets in the shin pad, little fine details like that you pick out. The little steel toe down here looks really cool. I'm fascinated with just the leg itself. This armor up here, yeah, it's nicely dented. The ax, the detail on the battle axe is here. It's nice that you can shine light through it and it just gives that icy glow. You can't take these little daggers out, which is totally fine, I'm okay with that. It's just like decor. Now let's talk about the articulation here. That's what's most important in an action figure. These toys have 22 points of articulation. I don't need to really go through them, but I can already imagine all the 22, that being his bicep, his forearm, his wrist, even his little foot, his little toes can bend up. Once, once you get to the toe bend, I don't know if I've ever liked the toe bend. It's, it's pushing it for me. I don't need the toe bend. I don't need that to happen. Um, maybe for like dynamic poses, but to be honest, like that's, that's too much for me. All right, so you got the elbow joints. Like it feels really good. It's actually very, very stiff. It's hard for me to even bend the legs without me feeling like I'm gonna break it. I don't really know if it's supposed to bend, but uh, you know, you can hear how stiff it is. You hear that <laughs> so i just have to wear it in it does feel nice he could articulate his leg pretty well there it goes up pretty high for all those dynamic poses he could probably do a slide no problem if you want to pose him into a slide yeah you can basically do the splits oh you can do the split so you can see if you look under his fly here <laughs> you can see how it's connected and how it all works in there so it does spread that way which is really nice especially on a ninja see it's already actually loosening up so that's pretty good just gotta keep doing this a little bit yeah the articulation is really nice you can see with this leg bend that i did back here like if you ugh, that would hurt just the poses that you can get with this already i can only imagine you know the wrists and the arms they're pretty loose so his head bends which is really nice convenient goes everywhere backwards um what i actually i really like a lot about this figure is the torso bend you can see that it's separated in there so you can actually bend them forward and backwards you could actually kind of get a little rotate in them but yeah you can rotate his uh, his waist here his elbows bend really nice look at that oh yeah nice axe slashes like that boom 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 so they have all the, the articulation that I think you need for dynamic poses and just poses in general. Like this, is, I'd say, is the ideal action figure. You don't need anything really more than this when it comes down to articulation. He looks exactly like he does in the game. It's, it's unbelievable. I love this toy. It's actually already, I can tell that this is one of my more favorite action figures that I, that I have. Simply, not only because it's Mortal Kombat and I love Mortal Kombat and I'm biased, but it just, it feels nice. It's a nice feeling figure. So that's Sub-Zero. Let's move on to the other Sub-Zero. He's pretty stiff right now. I'm gonna have to break him in. You know, it looks like he seems to have all the similar details. Let's actually see if you can see his scar. The sculpt is there as it should be because it is the exact same sculpt. So just different paint job. Again, same details. This one obviously doesn't look as, as exciting because it's just, he's all frozen blue. It is pretty cool for a Sub-Zero concept though. His clone. Ah, yeah, there you go. I could use this as his clone. What's really cool about this Sub-Zero is when he is shining through the light, he looks like he's just glistening ice. This guy would look nice in a windowsill. The weathering on this figure is really, really nice. All the details and the dry brushing just looks really very frosty. They definitely nailed the Sub-Zero right, for sure. The figure I have been waiting for my entire life, a McFarlane Toys Scorpion. <laughs> He looks so good. I'm just blown away right now by this. This figure is mind-numbingly cool. And the spear, whoosh, get over here. Oh, and bending it, probably shouldn't do keep it like that. It is bending. Let's check out all the details here. Look at the embroidery on his outfit, even on his pants here. It looks really, really nice. But that is, is my, like, just blows me away. You can even feel the texture of the fabric on the plastic. Really, really nicely done there. Yeah, even on the pants, there's some kind of texture. You might not be able to see it on camera, 
Oh yeah, you can see a little bit there. Check that out. Yeah, the silver, the armor looks great. The leather straps, they are not weak. So they're not gonna break off anytime soon. Same with these little details here. The chain on the spear is really nice. Like it's fully bendable. I'm not gonna like play around or bend it a lot, but I wouldn't be afraid of throwing it in my toy box or, or being a little rough with it. Yeah, no, it's really good quality. The spear itself, really nice. Very scorpion. Sheath is very, very stiff. It's very stuck in there. I don't know if I can get it out without breaking it. I might need to use pliers later to pry it out. You can see all the detail on his sheath here. Very nicely done. Yeah, and just all the leather straps up here. It just looks really good. They did a killer job with the sculpts. The weapons look sick. I was looking at the other scorpion, the sword, the dagger. You can kind of see the, the detail on the handle here, even on his face mask. Also very nicely done, very gold shimmery right now. And let's talk about his eyeliner. <laughs> Look at the detail, the paint job on his eyes. Blown away by that. Just the paint job overall is nice and clean. You kind of see the adjustment there is a little off, but that's cool. Paint jobs don't really bug me too, too much, but this toy is pretty well done. Nicely painted. Let's talk about articulation here. Articulation on this figure is awesome. My favorite part, it may seem small, but you can actually move Scorpion's head in the hood, which I never ever expected. Very cool. All right, so his arms, they're okay. They could stretch, how far can they stretch out here? Luckily the plastic, it's soft enough. It's hard, but soft enough for you to be able to do that to the arms. Again, I just got to wear it in, but uh, yeah, you can move his arms pretty high actually. His elbow has a nice bend as well. Let's check out his legs here. Are they like Sub-Zero's? <laughs> yep, they sure are. You could really, really position them. Look at that. It's the same model as the Sub-Zero, right? Regarding what you can move. You can move his little toes. It's really cool. Very nice, good detail there. His little shin guards are nice as well. Can you actually spin his? Maybe I just gotta wear it in, but uh, you could spin it a little bit. The flaps here, really nice. Again, they don't get in the way of the flexibility. Even the accessories here, the sheaths, right? They're strong enough to uh, be able to take this kind of stress. Overall, blown away. Some of my favorite toys I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, now let's check out the other scorpion. This one's really nice. I love the color scheme on this scorpion. Nice gold, orange, and green. Very bright. Not not exactly what I had imagined Scorpion to look like. I love the spear. This is actually the spear I use in the game when I play Scorpion. The sword's nice, almost looks like a green lightsaber. So I'm into that. These blades come out pretty easily. Look at that, it just slips right out. But yeah, again, same sculpt as the other Scorpion. Again, you got the shoulder joint. It's really nice here. You got your elbow joint, works really well. Again, you can move the face in the hood. This mask is also pretty nice. I love this mask. I think I like it more than the other one. You can't beat the classic like yellow scorpion mask. Come on. Man, the articulation is absolutely bonkers. Let's set these guys up in different poses. My overall opinion on these figures is they're simply beautiful. Everything about them from their sculpt down to all the detail, their articulation, the paint job, just every little nook and cranny is so perfect. I couldn't have asked for better Mortal Kombat figures. Leave it to McFarlane Toys to fulfill that dream of mine of having a range of action figures based off the Mortal Kombat franchise. I'm super pumped for the next wave of figures coming. We do have Johnny Cage and Raiden available now in stores, and I'm really looking forward to Katana. She is one of my favorite fighters of all time. You do get what you pay for, and that is a fully articulate action figure, and I couldn't be any happier about these. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Thanks again, and catch me in the next one.